what indicators I'm using on my charts and kind of how I have my charts set up. You can see here, I have my Dash Trader Pro. So right there, first question answered. I'm using Dash Trader Pro. This is a software that SureTrader is using. You can set up your Dash Trader Pro to however you want. Really, you can customize whatever charts you want, whatever kind of indicators you want on there. But this is my personal preference. This is actually the setup that I've thinking that I'm gonna use now, that I have set up now on my screen, kind of as my default desktop setup. So checking out my screen here, you can see I have on this side, right here, we'll start out from left to right. This is time and sales. So obviously when the market's open, it's gonna show each time there's a transaction on that stock, it's gonna show the price that it was sold at, how many shares, and what time, blah, blah, blah. And then you got down here, I got my two montages, so, and then my one minute chart here. So this, this area on this left side is kind of you can see it's on the left side of my screen. So I'm kind of using this as a area to watch a stock. If I want to keep an eye on a stock, you know, if there's maybe two stocks that are kind of popping up at the same time, I'm going to put one of the stocks that I'm not really 100% sure about on this side of my chart, just to keep an eye on. And then on the right hand side is kind of the kill zone, kind of where I'm going to really be making my trades at and getting in and out. You know, I have this over here in case I need to get in and out of a stock fast on the left side, I can do it. I have my two montages set up here going to show my level two you're asking you know what's level two level two is showing all the orders that are currently placed showing the bid and the ask also showing information like volume and different things like that showing the last price and all the information here i can put my orders in to buy short sell all that stuff here and i can click limit market stop different orders there so i won't get too in depth there with that i'll maybe talk about that in another video but this is kind of the breaking it down the montage there where I can buy and sell stocks at. And then, so on the right hand side, same thing again, I have my time and sales here. And then this is my kind of main area to watch, main one minute chart. I can switch back and forth pretty easily between the five minute and the one minute, just with a click of button there. So one thing I like about these charts, I have these horizontal lines here, kind of almost using these lines as resistance support lines. You can see here, $19 has that line across there. It's pretty much, the more you zoom in, the more the, the bigger these lines get, stuff like that. But when you zoom out, you can kind of use it as support resistance. So seeing that $19 area being resistance there, you can see that line across from there. So that works out great on that sense. And then also using it as support areas. So I can see here $18 was kind of holding. So that's a good indicator for me. I using these lines on the chart, horizontal lines. So this is a candle chart. Some people, you know, use different kinds of charts, you know, bars and, and just different lines. I like to use candles because you feel like you have a better idea of what's going on with the stock with these candles because you can see exactly you know where it's opening where it's closing seeing these wicks seeing where it's being bought where it's being sold also you might see i have my blue lines here so these are moving averages i have i have a weighted nine minute and i waited 15 ema i'm not sure i can't really tell you the the exact secrets on why i'm using those i think i just started using those after reading about a bunch of different stuff and it kind of works i like it on these runners you can see it kind of works out perfectly having this kind of channel as a trend line you can see aktx kind of followed trend on up here and then when it started coming back down you'll get that cross there and then it'll go back down so it's kind of cool you get these two moving average lines kind of following the stock it's a good indicator as the stock's going up as a trend line when it gets extended i usually look to see if the stock's going to pull back bounce off that moving average area and then move higher which it kind of did here on aktx kind of pulled back and then went higher following that trend line on up. See when it's real time, the trend isn't gonna show you the exact place it's gonna go, but it's kind of a lagging factor. So the stock sometimes will pull back to that top of that trend line as it's moving higher. And then the moving average will continue that move higher. Also on my chart, I have the volume bars. Volume is definitely a key here to see how much volume is on each candle. I can actually click each candle on the one minute chart and show how much volume on each one minute candle. That's always a good sign. You know, seeing here, you see only a thousand shares traded on that little tiny. And then you see here, you get 48,000 shares. So good indicator to use, looking for that volume, looking at each single candle and seeing how much volume. And then also looking down here at the bottom, you can see volume spikes up, volume comes down. So you get some nice steady consolidation there when it's bouncing around that $20 area, having this problem there, AKTX, AKTX on Friday. You can see the volume just kind of staying steady there. And then when the move higher happens, you get this big move in volume. Same thing, comes back down, consolidates, another big move higher, get that big spike in volume there. So keeping an eye on volume, keeping an eye on these candles, 
and these moving averages. It's really a personal preference. A lot of people will use different indicators, but this is kind of what I'm using right now. I know some professionals that don't even use any indicators. They just look at the actual candlesticks and the volume and play off that. So it's really just a personal preference. Like I said, these moving averages are a lagging factor. So they're going to be you know, behind the stock. So if the stock's moving up fast, the moving average is going to be down below. So you can't really base all of your trades off the moving averages. If you sit here all day long and waited for a stock to come back down and hit the moving average, it might never happen or it might break through that moving average as it comes back down. So it's really just something to learn over time to see which, you, which indicators you like to use when you're trading. I know a lot of people use different indicators like the R, like RSI. RSI can be very deceiving sometimes. You get people who think that since a stock is oversold, that's a good idea to buy. Or if it's overbought, it's a good idea to sell. So I see people that say, oh, this stock's oversold. It doesn't mean that it's a good time to buy. So be careful there if you're using RSI on your charts and you don't really understand the idea of RSI sometimes. Looking for those breaks into the overbought or the oversold area as different indicators. Not so much as looking at it as a, uh, as a secret to the market but overall just looking at the different things there. And I have my two order windows. I have, so this is my window that's gonna show what stocks I have. And then down here is gonna show all my orders. And then I have my two other montages that I'm using here. You can see AKTX, obviously on Friday, I have this still pulled up. I have my two montages. I can use the two montages to put in my buy order, have my sell order ready at the price target that I want. I can go back to this one once I get my order in and kind of set up my stop loss area. That way I have two orders. All I need to do is just press buy, sell, buy, sell. I can move things around really fast. I gotta get better with hotkeys and work on that more. As I get more comfortable with Dash Trader, I'll add some more hotkeys and work on that. But right now, it's working. Making some money, just doing what I'm doing. And I'll see what happens. The one thing I really like about Dash Trader over all the other systems right now is it's just a really simple, very just rudimentary charting software. You can see, I mean, this looks like it's from 1995, but it just really works well. You know, people are like, wow, it looks so simple. Well, that's the thing. I mean, it's really just money buying, selling. I want to be able to buy, sell fast. I don't need fancy graphics or really pretty interface to be able to buy and sell stocks. I just want to be able to get in and out fast and Dash Trader Pro works like that. There's a couple different brokers that use Dash Trader Pro, so don't feel like you have to use SurTrader to use this program. So hopefully this answers some of your questions. If you have more questions, leave a comment below. Hopefully I answered them. And I think that's pretty much everything that people were asking. I always tell people, you know, I'm buying with limit orders, selling with limit orders. So that's the breakdown on what I'm using on the charts and my software that I use every day trading.